it is almost time. Tomorrow I am getting started on the hashtag 24 hour novel challenge where the goal is to write an entire novel in 24 hours. I will leave links down below for more information and some old vlogs of mine to prep for this challenge. This might have turned me into an outline fan. So in a way, this is already worth it. Am I saying this because I'm scared of what's about to come? Yes. I have every aspect of A Closet Full of Cauldrons ready to go. It is the cozy mystery that I'm writing about a paranormal professional organizer who stumbles across a very illegal, deeply, horribly magical cauldron inside the mayor's manor. And of course, this cauldron also belonged to an ex-boyfriend of hers. That is the premise, that's the setup, and uh, there's a curse. People will die. Oh, what is that from? Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Now my goal for this challenge, as I've been saying, is to do the whole 24 hours completely straight through. All the way around the clock, <laughs> twice. But I have done 24 hour writing experiments before and they are hard and I had promised myself and asked you guys to hold me accountable to never do them again, but then this came up and it sounded so cool. So all that's to say that if I find myself in the wee hours of the morning feeling like I'm not putting in the best work, I will take a little pause, go to sleep, and continue the next day. Because that's something you can do for this 24 hour novel challenge is you can do like three eight hour sessions over the course of the three days, the 17th, 18th, and 19th of June. You could do 12 two hour sessions. No. Well, I guess you could. You could do two 12 hour sessions. <laughs> My main goal in this is to like not write shitty words. I want to try and make this as good as it can possibly be a nice, readable, pleasant second draft of this story. So if I'm finding that that's not gonna happen, I will pivot. I am flexible. I'm nervous. The next time you see me, it will be very early in the morning. <sighs> Wish me luck. First water. Timeline up. Scrivener dock up. Chat up. Now it is just time to enter a studio. Hello, good morning, everyone, or good afternoon, or good evening. Good time zone. Hello, hello. I have with me Sarah and Shay. Uh, and welcome to the first productivity stream of the Storytelling Star of the Weekend Relay. All right. It is 7.20 a.m. I'm just now about to actually get started, but I am met with the blank page. I have an idea for what I want the first line to be, but also it's the first line. It's the first line. I've been spotted. <laughs> Which nano mug should I do? I think this one. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, Shay and Sarah, and everyone in the chat. I am excited to see how the rest of the 24 hours goes, the rest of the Storyteller's Hearth Weekend Relay goes. Is there anything y'all want to like shout out about yourselves or your projects or just a word of advice for people? Anything you want to say before we leave? <laughs> um, okay, so save your work. 
Oh, yeah. The, the numbers y'all dropped just now was big. So make sure you say yours. See? Go ahead. Make sure you say yours real quick. Go ahead. Make sure you save it. Let's give some advice that I never follow myself. I will 100% happily give to everybody else. Taking part in any of the challenges that we're doing over this weekend, make sure you stay hydrated. Make sure you stay fed. Make sure you take your regular breaks and do something that is not writing to maintain your creative well. And just have fun. Don't put too much stress on the words you need to do and just focus on the fun you're having with everyone else along the way. She's in the middle of something. Hey, Wiggle Bats, let's go! This is my best hour yet. Woohoo! This one <laughs> was finishing up the stream and then I took a walk break and eye break and then I got breakfast. So like in between here there was not a lot of words, but we're, we're going. I will say I did actually manage to finish this second scene for the first chapter, but I didn't finish the first one. Um, where I wanted it to be. Something was still feeling like just a little bit off and I think I have a new way to start it. It's just the starting. It's the start, it's the first chapter. Just wanna make it as good as possible. So anyways, that's what I'm struggling with right now. But also because I don't have time, you see, for the 24 hour challenge. So I'm going back to what I originally wanted this whole challenge to be about. And my sort of sub goal within this 24 hour novel is to actually create a readable, enjoyable second draft. That is what I want the most. So that in theory, I might even be able to give it to someone with like just a little bit of cleanup after. So I'm gonna skip that scene, but I think I'm going to continue on with my sort of taking my time approach. Like almost 2000 words in four hours feels like slow progress, but you know what? That's okay. The challenge is for 24 hours. The challenge is to write a novel, but we're ignoring that part. <laughs> I am writing a novel, just not gonna finish the novel. I don't know why I'm already like convincing myself I can't do it, because I probably can't. But who knows? At this rate, I'm I'm doing I'm getting better. So you never know. I am excited though, because when we start chapter two, we get all of the nonsense stuff and then the end of chapter two is when she finds the cauldron so compared to other cozy mysteries sometimes they want you to have like a full-on death within the first couple chapters or whatever um or to like start it with a death and blah 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 but i think that the cursed cauldron is going to play that part and then because there's a curse we eventually discover that there's like other deaths to come is this even a cozy mystery or is it just a mystery with cozy vibes I've thought about this a little bit since, but we'll see. <laughs> One thing to note is that my parents are going to stop by, so it's going to take a little bit of the chunk out of my writing time, um, but hopefully it's like a quick visit. They just need to pick something up, so. They also just called. Oh well, let's get into the second chapter. Okay, here's where we're about to have a problem because I'd already had stuff written here. As I was writing chapter one, I actually changed it to present tense. And now taking what I had from the last draft, um, the copy pasted part, it's in past tense. So <laughs> I'm, I think I'm gonna change it to present tense for now. And we'll see if I regret this, but I think the present tense is gonna help it be more powerful in the later moments when she herself, when she finds herself part of the curse. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is it fine? I think it's fine. Thank you, Zelda. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
So in that hour, you know, I managed to get just so many words. <laughs> I think it is time for another beverage and then back to the work. This is the uh, diagram, <laughs> diagram I made for my patrons, but I will be stringing here. Do you wanna go outside? Wow. I did ask them what some of their favorite drinks are, so I'm going to uh, use some of their suggestions. I bought some ingredients last night, so I'm excited. Am I feeling Thai tea or some matcha? Matcha. <laughs> okay, I've never tried this one before. Not bad, actually. I like it. Mmm. Okay, so I just finished my Patreon stream and as ever, I have another book recommendation <laughs> to look up. Now at 2,612 words, I did have a bit of a delete and then move around session. So I actually lost some. I know that I actually had good like word count additions through um, this last hour, but it just is not quite reflecting that in the numbers. However, I'm thinking more and more about those two hours that it were just like such scrap hours, and I'm sure they're not gonna be the last ones because I am getting quite hungry again. It's the last bit of quality, and I'm just like, well, I have written 400 extra words this hour, actually. But anyways, the point being, if I wanna make this the full 24, what to do? I'm going through at least 1 a.m. today. The question's gonna be, do I go farther than that or do I bank those extra hours I need and these two shit hours and do them the rest of the weekend? Hmm. Eyebrow, eyebrow, eyebrow. <laughs> I'm now at 3,514 words for the day. It is almost 6.20. So in theory, we're nearing 11 hours of uh, this experiment. But as you can see, I had another uh, hour where I just decided to like, it was a scrap hour. I watched Love Island. I took a little close screen break, I guess. I took a little brain break too. I was tired. And then now I've had coffee and I'm slightly less tired. Um, oh, the eyebrow's really working on overdrive <laughs> today. Anyways, the delirium is starting. It's fine. I'm always like a smidge close to delirium anyways. I think for the three hours, I'm just going to bank them and do that spread out through tomorrow and Monday. So I'm actually feeling really good. I feel a little bit better about not having to do all of it. I've made my peace with the 24 not happening the way I'd initially thought. I've done enough of these. It's just, when it's not gonna happen, it's not gonna happen, but I'm amending it, you know? We're working with what we got. That said, I think what's really gonna help me, besides that I'm on chapter three and we get to find out that the X is missing, <laughs> I am going to do a Twitch stream, which I've not done in a while. Just time to rectify that. Done. Woo. Okay.
respect for anyone with yourself, bro. Small dick energy. You're a dickhead. Class was mad, bro. What the fuck? I swear I always did these experiments and I forget to film when I'm getting tired, but I'm doing pretty well. I'm at just over 6,000 words now. I just have to wait until 12.20 to uh, write that down. Double check where I'm at. I actually really feel like I'm an on, like I'm on a roll right now. Talking is so hard. Oh my gosh, Claire's here. That's so fun. I had to say hi to Claire. <laughs> and the uh, vlog has been spotted. I'm very tired. Talking is hard, um, but typing is doing okay right now. I am excited. In 30 minutes, I get to have my midnight wine, which will be quite fun. Oh, and I get to change that. I am gonna have to make sure that I am on top of my game for how many words I have right now, though. So, let's skip things. You know, I don't know, what am I saying? Okay. This time on our first sprint. Let me know how y'all did. I am now at uh, 6,423 words total. I also think I'm making up words now. So <laughs> that's that's where we're at. Midnight wine for midnight. All right, we just ended the stream and my Scribner just reset to zero and I'm almost done with my wine and it is time to go to sleep. Good night. It is time to rise and shine and get back to writing. It is just about 10 a.m. on Sunday, so I'm gonna try and get at least five hours today to pick up not only where I left off, but also cover the four hours that I skipped. I'm just gonna put this everywhere. Oh, the coffee will help. So I do have a bit of a conundrum though. Plus side, having the outline is making this process so much easier. I'm trying to decide if I think it's slowing me down and in terms of like getting the words on the page, maybe yes, it sounds weird. I think I'm more likely to tinker with the words um, and trying to like think over certain particular scene directions and stuff because I know that this is going to stay. I know it's going to be in the story here. Um, and I have even had like some little surprises that I think are also going to be really great. Little red herrings and just like tiny sentences has been so fun. So I'm going a little bit slower. I'm not just plowing ahead with every single thought that comes to mind, um, which is fine. I'm very happy with that. This begs the question though, I do have some scenes that I did skip parts of because I am nearly at the end of chapter four and that's really the the setup and the debate period. Like I'm almost done with that and then we really get into things where we meet the ex and we're just like thrown into this mystery even more. You know, it was like a little light mystery and now it's like a full-fledged oh shit. But there are parts was it chapter two? There are parts where I skipped some stuff. I still want to rethink the opening scene. I just left off sentences here. So I'm debating going back and taking the time to fill those in. So again, I'm sacrificing speed, but I think it's going to be in the greater service of what I want to do. Is that in the whole overarching like spirit of the hashtag 24 hour novel? Who's to say? Me because it is my experience doing the job. <laughs> I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, okay. Decided. I do think I'm gonna finish the end of chapter four here and then flip back up to chapter one. Woo. Oop, almost done. <laughs> And we are on the first sprint 
in Jess's stream. I did finish this little bit. However, I had copy and pasted this scene over from the original draft. But not only have I changed from past to present tense now, but also this current execution doesn't work because she's already stolen the cauldron. I do still want her to, we gotta keep the tension a little high, I do still want her to run into um, the gardener again, uh, just to make you wonder, make you question some things. But it can't happen the way it's currently happened, so I basically need to delete all 609 words here and rewrite them so that they fit again. And now it's just trying to decide if I want to do that first so that I feel like I'm done with the with that part and I can go into the B story with um, meeting the ex or I can do it go back up to chapter one does my heart say. Listen to your heart. That scene did give me 444 more words which is a great number. Okay, I realized what I did yesterday. <laughs> also, I got food. We're still in the middle of the sprint. Yesterday, I had an hour that was really good, but when I went to like look at the word count, I'd gone from, from 120 to 220 yesterday. I ended with 2,836 words, but from 230 to 330 yesterday, I then ended with 2,215. So I'd like decreased 600 words, but I knew I'd actually written a lot during that time. And this is what I just did here too. So because I'm not yet ready to delete the scene that I had, because I was like, oh, what if there's something good? But I also have all my notes here. I decided I know what I'll do. I'll duplicate this and then delete what's on the page so that for right now I can do one of these little things, split it, and I can have the old version right here if I want it. In doing that and then deleting the words, it put me down to zero words for the day because I technically added 444 words so far, but I had added and then deleted and 609 words, so the 609 is what counts for some reason, not the duplicating. Look, I don't ask questions. Sometimes Scrivener's not like <laughs> perfect in the word tracking. Um, but anyways, yes, the mystery has been solved. The mystery that only I was confused about. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this little bit of chapter five. After all, just have this like growing trepidation because she now has stolen the cauldron. She's like breaking all of her own rules, stealing something from someone's house, someone that she's being paid to help and She's gonna try and figure it out on her own. She's caught momentarily or worried that she's about to be caught. And then we get her to like finally get home. So yeah, we're just gonna elongate that a little bit. Throw a little red herring in there, a little that. And we're gonna eat. Whew. All that to say that when I record from 10 to 11 here, we're just gonna have the little asterisk for how many words actually get added in this time because I have about 15 minutes left. <laughs> 157 words, but we'll all know that's plus 444. Water and a cappuccino. 157 and an asterisk. My hour is nearly up and I am at 666 words. So I got about 500 words there. I went ahead and wrote it down. I will say I'm at the stage where I'm having to bribe myself with YouTube videos. So rather than like a consistent flow where I stay in it, I'm just like, okay, if you write for 15 minutes, then you get to watch a video for 15 minutes. <laughs> This part of these challenges always happens though, toward the end where I'm just like, I just want to be done. Why did I decide to do this? <laughs> like I have this moment, it, oh my God, it very much mirrors arcs and stories. <laughs> this is the dark night of my soul. <laughs> this is the bad guys closing in. This is me fighting against myself. Oh. Do you want to go outside? Okay. You're such a tall sausage. Go! Oh, good job, little Zelda. <laughs> Buffy's still chilling. Yeah, I'm close, but like not close enough to 
feel like I can push through and be like, only a little bit left. I will say that because I only needed to do like five hours today and five hours tomorrow to be done with the challenge and get the whole 24, um, what I might do is try and do like eight hours today. That way I have even less to do on Monday because I actually need to do some other work on Monday. <laughs> These 24 hours turn it into 72 real quick. Good job. All right, so one of the things I asked my patrons to help me with was to suggest some drinky drinks uh, that I could have because that has been up to this point very helpful in like both getting me in a different mindset, sort of being like, okay, this is a new hour. Also the power of potentially their caffeine or sugar, um, but just like, yeah, separating. Be like, okay, you did one hour, now you get a little something different. You do another hour, it's a little different. You know, when you have these kind of challenges, I find it helps. We're gonna go ahead and say that this next hour is brought to you by Lee and Lee's Lemon Drop. Now Lee says that their Lemon Drop Martini is two ounces of vodka, one ounce of lemon juice, one ounce syrup, and one ounce of triple sec. Because Lee is trying to get me drunk as hell. <laughs> I do not have triple sec because I'm not a huge orange fan, though I know a lot of uh, drinks call for it, but I do have this blue carousel, which is close enough. So we're gonna do Kate's take. Oh, that's quite fun. I cannot believe I've never used that until now. Kate's take. It's all the same letters. Kate and take. Who am I and what have I been doing? Whatever. Kate's take <laughs> on Lee's lemon drop. Yes, let's do this. Can't wait for this drink to be like a weird green. <laughs> well, I'm about to be horrified by the creation I've made. Only what you didn't know is that Kate's take is just fully butchering the drink. Okay, cheers to you. <laughs> It's not that bad. Lee promised very tart, but absolutely delicious so long as you utilize the sugar rim. But you know what? That tartness, I think, is exactly what I need. It's like, the words have escaped me. I think it's definitely gonna keep me interested, keep me going. Okay, let's get some words. I'm now up to 1,186 mm. for the day, not taking into account again the like 444 words I lost. So I feel like I'm crushing it. There's only about 15 minutes left until my F1 race. So I think I'm going to take a little break, take my drink, and I'm going to watch that. But it is time to fill in. All right, I'm at 1,186. Again, like 500 words or so. Lee's lemon drop. <laughs> this thing was especially fun because I was actually working around in places. This needed more interaction with a specific character, the gardener, <laughs> as I mentioned. Anyways, so really I just needed like a couple funny moments. So as I thought of them, I wrote them down and then I would like fill in the gaps along the way. Now I have basically everything I need. I have one, two more gaps to fill and that's it both like at the very start and then at the very end of the scene and it's going to be done soon but I don't mind leaving it for an immediate start on the next one and then I think it'll just be coming back to the first chapter and seeing if I can't rewrite that again with my ever so slight change uh man why do opening chapters have to be so hard Hmm. Okay, I got my coffee, I got my cat, and both dogs in here now. <laughs> Watching a crochet video. And I did finish this chapter five, so I'm going to go ahead and change my icon back because it is fine. And this is the one, the old one in past tense and not containing everything it needed to, but I thought it was gonna be perfect. That's okay. It was a good, uh, a good start. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna expect my 
number to change, but I'm going to go ahead and actually move this. I have a little section that I made when this happened last time into the old ideas. Ta-da! I am free! Oh, see, look, once again, didn't change anything though. I thought it was going to. How long have I used Scrivener for and I still don't understand? Do you just want to be the star of the show? What is this? What is going on with you, baby girl? Oh, I love you very much. Oh, you are just my NFT kitten, aren't you? How do you propose I work? Oh, you, you, you want to type? There was nothing to fill in in chapter four. There was like a half a sentence that I had left off at. So I'm kind of like speed reading the chapters, the scenes, and picking up where I left off. There is, however, in the first scene of chapter three, one, two bits that are missing. I fully stopped mid-sentence on one of them. So that's fun. What was I doing? Who knows? Was I in the middle of something? Was there a reason I stopped? Did my brain just sputter to a close? But now we're gonna try and do chapter three, chapter two, and I'm working my way up to chapter one where I do like a full rewrite of the opening scene. At some point I'll go check out my cat. <laughs> Hello? Update, she's fine. Now, JS recommended this beverage that sounds absolutely delightful. I don't have frozen blueberries, but I do have a plethora of frozen strawberries. Oh, I do have some frozen blueberries. I'm a fucking liar. I feel like mine ended up more smoothie texture than slush, but it's delicious. I filled in the gaps. 2089. So I'm probably just gonna end up with 200 words, but I'm not considering this a scratch chapter because I just had to go back and I successfully finished off two different scenes. So, so it goes sometimes. Yay. Boot time. So I actually don't have footage from the last couple hours of filming, but I do have the moments from my phone for what I decided to do after, which was just basically take some outside time, take a little crochet break, enjoy hanging with the dogs, and just like emptying my mind. But because I was so confused about what, how much I'd actually written because my scripter kept resetting, I had a vague idea of how much I might have written, but the actual number was eluding me, right? Thankfully the Scrivener writing history works better than the like little number at the top. So that first day I got 6,743 words. The next day I got 3,365 words. And then for my last two hours, the final day I got 671 words for a total. I didn't, actually didn't write down the total. What was I doing? Oh my gosh. I got a total of 10,779 words in the 24 hours, which is awesome. I'm very glad I managed to break the 10k window, but this has taught me a lot, this final version of the 24 hours. <laughs> so first off, I obviously didn't complete it in the full 24 um, like I've done the other ones. I have done a 24 and 36 where I've done a version of this experiment trying to make sure I get 24 hours of work in 36 hours total. But for the most part when I've done 24 hour write-a-thons I have written straight through debatably to my detriment. Only so far as like you just feel so out of it for a few days and admittedly the words are not the best. Which is why I will say that were I to do this again the advice I would give don't have the first chapter blank. Go ahead and write the first chapter. <laughs> I think that was by far my biggest mistake of this experiment is just I and I talked about this pressure to get the first chapter right with a bunch of other people and we all kind of feel this pressure because it's the first one and unlike the other chapters you just mm. so what I would do is I would already have that one written 
Just don't even, don't save it, okay? Just do it. Two, I think the different strain breaks really worked in my favor that first day, and I wish I would have set them up for the other two days. It was nice to have a strain to look forward to, to have other people motivating me throughout the experiment, um, just because sometimes that's what you need. You need cheerleaders <laughs> through this process. Having all the different drinks also really worked. That was nice, but I'm a drink girl, so maybe you're a snack person, you know? Maybe you just want, you know, you know yourself best. Just choose like a little reward you can have each hour that can just feel like something different is happening because you are often at your desk for that whole extent of time. Oh, that does bring me to something I did not do that I'd meant to do in my prep, which was find a voice recording system that I liked and test it beforehand. Um, I ran out of time to test it beforehand, but also I ended up not feeling like it was super important because it's already crazy hot here in Texas. And I was like, there's just no way I'm going to be walking outside doing this. Um, it would just be miserable. And so I just didn't do it. I do think having my timeline sorted out really helped and that I, it's not even knowing necessarily what needs to happen in each chapter, but knowing the emotional arc and exactly where your character is at in the moment. Um, because I have this uh, propensity to kind of skip over things sometimes, especially when I'm doing the zero draft, um, sometimes you lose exactly where the emotional arc um, and needs of your character are in that exact moment when you're writing. And so it takes more finagling later to try and make sure everything is um, where it should be. Whereas with the timeline and the outline completed, I did not have that issue. But because I had the timeline and outline completed, I felt like I needed to spend more time working on the words and making sure that like because I knew every aspect of the chapter would stay. It's not like when I zero draft where I'm like, nah, who knows, this is probably gonna be thrown out the window. <laughs> I was like, okay, let me make this a little bit better. Obviously, it's still one of those where I will be rewriting a lot of the words because that's how I personally find myself tinkering at a sentence level as each draft goes along. So if, and I won't, but if I were to do another 24 hour write-a-thon, I think I would save it for those, like ideas I just wanna get out of my brain. I think that is the best use of this for me is to, just dive headfirst into the zero draft and just write like the wind and just like really I always need that so that I can understand the story and the characters but like that might be what the crazy madness is for for me. I have very read sections of this and you can I think or I can tell where I started just getting really like mentally exhausted because it does kind of go down <laughs> still but it's not it's actually not that bad you know. So if I did 24 hours and I did. I would say probably, you know, I don't know, 18? 18 felt like solid work where like I'll come back to it and be like, that was solid second draft work, you know? Six of those hours, the work is maybe not solid second draft work, but that's okay. <laughs> I have since gone back and rewritten chapter one, um, or at least the opening of chapter one, which was, is so much better now. And I had the idea for it during the 24 hour write a I just did not feel like I could execute it. So I was like, I know what I'll do. I'll just work my way backwards and procrastinate having to do it. And turns out by doing that, I never had to write chapter one during the challenge again. <laughs> now, finally, I do wanna share one experiment that I think I've come up with out of this. I heard a couple people, I know at least JC, um, author JC Carpenter and a couple other people were using the Forest app to count their hours. So this is something I, I like never truly know what to do and how to count hours. And so as you saw this time, I just scrapped some hours if I didn't get enough work or I felt like it just wasn't enough at the time. But also some of those hours I like had gotten up in the last 15 minutes and the first 15 minutes of the next one and like walked around and ate food and then wrote. So it's like, was that a full hour though? So JC and some others use the forest app to count when they're doing their sprints. And then at the end, once they got the full 24, that meant they'd written for 24 hours. I love that idea. I think what I'll probably end up doing is a version of that, but maybe like a hundred. Not in a crazy weekend like this, but just doing it in the same project for a hundred hours and seeing how far that takes me in a story because I'm just curious, you know? Yeah, but please do comment down below. Let me know if you participated in the, oh, 
hashtag 24 hour novel. Thank you again to Rebecca for letting me know about this challenge, for hosting this challenge, for doing so many cool things in the lead up to this challenge. Let me know if you participated in the Storyteller's Heart that we can relay. And as always, thank you to Jess and Sam for organizing and putting all of that on. Let me know if you do something like this again. Let me know what aspects you would change or any tips or tricks that you thought were really gonna help you and did, or conversely, some that like didn't make that much of a difference after all. You know, there's always the idealized version of something where you're working it through and you're like, this makes sense, this is gonna be perfect. And then the actual can be much different or like, you know, just a little slightly different. We learn things along the way. Let me know if you also have issues with writing the first chapter. <laughs> And if there's anything you do to sort of like trick yourself to not have that issue. I feel like mine was really more of a time-based issue where I felt a pressure to get it done quickly and my brain just couldn't do it that quickly. Um, but I still also often do have that pressure with the first chapter. Let me know if you outlined everything ahead of this experiment, if you stuck to your outline or if you found little bits and pieces uh, that you not initially planned for and yeah, kind of how that went. And thank you all so much for watching this video. And thank you especially to everyone who hung out with me during the <laughs> 24 hour madness. I appreciate it so much. Um, I loved getting to cheer y'all on. I loved getting to have y'all cheer me on. And it uh, really made a difference in my, my, my strength. <laughs> but that is gonna be it for me. I will see you all very soon with another experiment for sure, but at least definitely with another video. Bye.